Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a take on the martini makeup trend. And when I saw that this was trending and it's basically green eyeshadow, I was like, yes, I am here for it. I love green eyeshadow, whether it's chartreuse, the emeralds, the olive greens, I've always had a real soft spot for them. I'm going to do this look on lovely Lauren, so let's get started. So nice to see you again, you Lauren. Too. I know you're going out tonight, so I'm gonna make sure your makeup looks gorgeous. Perfect. Um, so I've started with these MZ Skin Hydrobite Gold Eye Masks. So they will catch anything that drops down, which they shouldn't be, but also just prep the skin nicely for tonight. These are, I've been using these a while, they're quite expensive, but I sometimes sleep in these <laughs> and they actually work really well. Like I put them on an hour before bed and then I've gone to Wake sleep up. in them and I've actually in, quite enjoyed it. So we're going to start with Daphne, which is one of the liquid Lurexes and we're gonna use this as a base. Now, if you want to, you can actually use a primer with these if you're mega, mega, mega oily, but I find that these last really, really well. And in most cases you do not need to unless you really just love using a primer. So I'm just gonna blend this in as a nice base can blend with fingers as well all over kind of go kind of up a little higher there same the other side love this color it's got that really olivey undertone so it really reminds me of a dry martini with that with the olive in I'll have to order that tonight oh yeah you've got that tonight you're gonna have your makeup to match <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use the shade Madrigal from the Sorcery palette because again it's got that really kind of dirty olivey gold and I'm going to start to apply this at the outer edge and also the inner third. It's almost going to be a little bit halo-y but also a little bit winged. So just blending. I'm not really going to finish a shape here at the outer edge yet until I've got a bit of an eyeliner on or something to create the little wing that I'm going to do. And then just blending that all in. So using the same shade, just going to create a little bit of drama here at the inner corner. So almost sort of following the socket line and then taking it onto the lid. So we start to get, just look straight ahead for me, this kind of shape there. Just gonna do a little bit on the outer edge there and also coming around into the inner corner there and we'll blend this out in a moment. Look up, Tally. It's giving martini. Perfect, that's the vibes. <laughs> Because this is a little bit duochrome at certain angles it looks quite yellowy and chartreuse and then other side it looks a little bit more smoky. I'm just going to go along the, look down darling, underneath a little bit the lash line there, especially at the outer edge, right the way along. Sorry about that. It's fine. <laughs> Sniff. Perfect. And then bringing the same dark green liner just through the roots of the lashes. I'm going to go in with the Troubadour Seamless Matte, so it's more of a deep green, a petroly green, just to soften that edge. Look up, darling, and take it slightly along the lower as well, finishing with a little wing up. And this is quite a good way to do it. If you do underneath first, just look at me. So if you do underneath before you do the wing and then use that look down as your kind of position for winging up and then you can just take a q-tip or similar and then just clean up from underneath if you want to finesse the shape you're quite dry at the moment aren't you your skin yeah, i'm very dry so we're going to put plenty of cream on and some lip balm in a second as well I'm just really massaging this in I need to blend under here but I'll do all that once we've got our concealer on and our face is nicely prepped 
So we've got a little tearing situation here. If that ever happens when you're doing your liner, just move on to something else. So look up, dry the area. We'll clean this up in a second and then just leave it. Because sometimes if you keep trying to patch it up, keep wiping it, it just gets worse. So just, we forget about that gap for now and we'll fill that in later. So for highlighter, I'm using Pink Moon. Just gonna put some on cheekbone area and then just blend that in. Touch above eyebrows and some nose there. And straight in with foundation, this is shade number six. You were 2.5 last time. So I'm just gonna do a thin layer all over and then we'll do some concealing. Okay, onto concealer. So this is good to do now and then I'm gonna blend the under eye area in the way we want it to look before we do mascara. So we're gonna fix this under eye area now. I'm gonna do a light powdering first and then I'm actually gonna use a touch of powder just with a really tiny brush to give a little bit of setting to that look up darling area where we had a little bit of a tear situation <laughs> <laughs> and this is a really good tip as well just put a touch of powder on it and then I'm going to patch that up and do the rest of the blending underneath. So for the underneath, I think I'm going to go back in with, um, let me see which shade to use. I might actually do Daphne. I think it might look really nice under there. So I'm using a little bit of the Daphne and a buffing brush. Look up, darling, look up there. I'm gonna go, come around a touch. Chin down there. Look up. So I'm just going to blend into the darker shade there. Mm, this is actually turning into a more of a dirty martini look, I'd say. It's getting a little bit more smoky, a little bit more grungy. And then second eye, look up, darling. So blending that all in. I'm going to patch up this outer edge now. Let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a brush, same colour. I'm going to dampen an eyeliner brush and then just go in with the same colour and pat that on, which this feels dry now. Look up, darling. There you are. That's gripping now. I'll drop the tiny bit, but I'll fix that. Yes, success. So I'm curling the eyelashes and applying black mascara. To finish the skin, I'm just gonna do a little bit of pinpoint concealing and then setting that with powder. For the brows, I'm just gonna fill in a touch, just at the front mainly. So I'm gonna add some bronzer now. I'm going to go with a color that's not too orangey because there is warmth in the eyeshadow, but it's not too warm. So I think a nice, soft, really kind of wash of bronze, it's particularly up here on the forehead, under the cheekbone, along the jawline, is really going to bring this colour scheme all together. I'm going to add a little bit more onto the brow bone as well. So this is the bronzer as well and I think this will really bring all of those shades together nicely. Now I'm going in with some blush and I feel like we just need a nice little pop. Again I'm going with a bit more of a warmy peach tone but I think that's just going to lift the skin. To finish off, I'm applying Velvet Muse, so this is more of a dirty rosewood, which again fits in with our dirty theme. And I'm going to do it without a lip liner, so it's really a soft stain. And keeping those edges really soft as well, so almost blurry around the edges. Just filling in the, the shape first, so sticking to the natural shape. I think eyes starting to water less. We've had a little bit of an issue with both eyes being a little bit watery. 
But I think they are starting to calm down now. And as I say, if this happens to you, you just have to stop, dry it and um, work with it. And then I think that is you ready for tonight. Perfect. Wow. This is going to be a wow look. I'm not seeing you already. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. No, you look thank beautiful. You for doing my makeup again. I love it. <laughs>